Hey guys, sitting here going over some videos that I need to edit and upload. This particular video is back from June when I installed the marker lights and tail lights on my camping trailer. Now if you recall on a previous video, I did an unboxing of all the lights that Recreation Pro sent me. And since then, I've had a couple install videos, but I finally got all the marker lights and tail lights installed and this is the video for that. Now if you recall, Recreation Pro has boating, RV, and golf cart accessories, as well as some tumblers and tumbler accessories. So the first video, I'll show the trailer at night as it was before I did the install. So check that out, then I'll show you what I installed, and then I'll show you what it looks like at night, lit up after the fact. Okay, here you can see I have the van out and the trailer's hooked to it there in the roadway at night. One amber light there on the side, and then the red marker light on the side of the tail light. And I do have two small tail lights that are pretty low there at the back. There is a rack on the back of the trailer, and if I have anything strapped to that rack, it will conceal one of those lights, depending on which angle you're at. And here you can see the one red light and one amber light on the passenger side of the trailer. Not very bright. And notice the lights as it's traveling away from you there on the roadway, and then the side marker lights as it's coming to you. And notice the brake lights. They are pretty bright for what they are. They're just small and they're kind of low to the ground. And the turn signals as well. Alright guys, been working on this trailer a lot today, over the last couple days actually. And it is hot out here and I'm shot. I'm done for the day. But I finally got all the marker lights and tail lights installed, hooked up, wired in, and they work. When I did the unboxing on the, all the items I got from Recreation Pro, I talked about where I wanted to put the lights and, and how I was going to do it. So I went ahead and installed the marker lights and tail lights. So I had two marker lights that was not working. And as you know, I'm not an electrician. I finally got it figured out and got everything wired in and they worked great. So let me show you those right quick. Okay, these were the lights that came on the trailer. One amber light there and one marker light here on the side, red marker light, and then the tail lights. I wanted to have more marker lights on the side, so I installed this one and this one. The two inch, I think the two or two and a half inch round lights here on the top, and then those six inch LEDs there. Of course, all of these are LEDs, and then amber here on the front on the side. This is on both sides. And there's the tail lights. And you can definitely see this thing going down the road now. It is lit up good. I don't know, I just feel better about it. You saw the night shot going down the road and it, it wasn't real bright at all. And here's the other side, the driver's side. Now here, I didn't really have much choice of where to put these. They're under that container, but you can still see them going down the road. Okay, got the lights on and it's about 7 p.m. It is not close to being dark yet. It's shaded, but not dark. And that's definitely a lot brighter. And here's the red ones. And check out the tail lights. You can definitely see these lights. It's awesome. And then the passenger side, the red and the amber. Okay, you probably couldn't tell much about it there at daylight, but here at night, it's very bright. That's the 17 inch brake lights, the strip lights there on the back. And no matter what I put on that back rack now, you're gonna be able to see my tail lights, my brake lights and my turn signals. I feel much better about that. These are pretty bright. And here's a shot of the marker lights. I went from having one amber and one red to having three amber and three red. Now those containers are kind of hiding it there on the driver's side, but here is the passenger side. It's lit up really well. And you can even see the brake lights from the side. Pretty bright. And here are the turn signals. None of the marker lights flash with the turn signals, but all tail lights do and you can definitely tell how bright they are. And going out onto the roadway 
and then going down the road. And once I hit the brakes, if you're behind me, you definitely know I'm stopping. And then the turn signals. Very noticeable. So I feel much better about having all of these lights on this little treader while traveling. And a quick before and after comparison. You're getting on the roadway, turn signals, quite a bit of difference there. And then going down the road. All right, I don't know if you could tell how bright those lights are, but man, they are bright. I'm stoked about this project. It turns out really good. There was not hard to install. It's a matter of a little wiring now. The wiring gets me sometimes. It does take me a little time to do the electrical part, but it was actually a pretty simple project. Now the lights there on the back, I think are gonna make a huge difference because you could barely see it before, especially if I was hauling anything on the back. Now I'm lit up and I'm lit up good. So hopefully not only will it look better going down the road, it'll be a lot safer. You can definitely see this trailer coming. All right, I got all of these lights from recreationpro.com. I'll put a link to their website in the description below, as well as information on all of the lights that I installed today. All right, don't forget to come back and look for more videos. I have plenty other modifications to do to this trailer. So I have several other lights to put on, but I'm also going to look at maybe changing the top or the lid, and I'm going to add a new axle and springs down the road. I'd also like to get some new wheels, maybe aluminum wheels, I'm not sure. That would be a want, not a need, so I'll have to see how that plays out. All right, guys, don't forget, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.